In today's video, we're going to cover the high and the low windmill. Okay, these are both great exercises for developing flexibility all over, but mainly in the torso and the shoulder, and also working the core. Okay? So the first one I'll show you is the low windmill. This is slightly easier, and then I'll show you the progression, which is the high windmill. Okay, so first of all, all we need to do is put the kettlebell to the side you're going down to. This will make sense in just a second when I explain. So this is going to my left leg. All I'm going to do is turn my left leg out to about 45 degrees. Okay? This kettlebell is now here as my sort of range marker. Okay? All we're going to do is keep my right leg straight, my left leg slightly bent. And all I'm going to do is going to reach down and grab this kettlebell. So this is our start position. All we're going to do then is put one hand nice and high and keep this leg, sorry, this kettlebell next to my leg. Then all we're going to do is lean down and as I come down, I'm pushing this hip out to the side. Okay, so all I'm doing is popping my hip out to the side. Okay, so arm up, pop my hip to the side and run the kettlebell down my leg and as I do, I'm looking up at the ceiling and twisting my upper body, okay? Then as I come out, as I come up, I'm going to breathe out. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll show you from another angle. So again, keeping my left leg, which is the leg I'm coming down to, that foot's going to stay at a 45 degree angle. This arm is coming up, and then all we're going to do, pop the hip out, lean down, and twist the upper body. So down, twist, touch the floor, and then back up. Okay? That's the low windmill. Now what I'm going to show you is the high windmill. So this is a more intermediate to advanced exercise, and you want to, be you want to take care at first depending what weight you're using. I recommend starting on a lower weight just because some people haven't got the flexibility required in the chest, the shoulders, and the abdomen to kind of get this exercise spot on, okay? So all we're gonna do, clean the kettlebell up to the rack position and push directly overhead. We're then gonna turn that left foot back out to 45 degrees and run the hand down the inside of the leg, okay? So this is your, again your range marker. What I recommend doing is staring up at the kettlebell as you start to come down so it doesn't sort of go behind you or go too far forward. So it stays straight up pointing towards the ceiling. So what we're going to do, coming down, pop the hips out to the side, look up and touch. Then come back up, breathing out forcefully as you come back up. I would recommend holding your breath as you go down just to keep the abdomen nice and full of oxygen, okay? So we're going to keep that intra-abdominal pressure. So again, I'll show you from the side. Coming out 45 degree angle in the rack position. Once you've got your set position, push above the head. Then all we're gonna do, hand on the hip, push out to the side with the other hip, come down, rotate, look at the kettlebell, touch the floor, come back up. Back down, deadlift to the floor. Cool. Thank you for watching one of our kettlebell videos. If you found it useful, please feel free to share it on either Twitter or Facebook. Also, if you'd like more information on diet, health and lifestyle, then please feel free to visit our website.